I did another video recently on a guy called Fat Patty Catalano, and he was a Colombo guy, but he was from Middle Village. And I know at one point he was involved with you know, who we were talking about, Guzzo, at one point. Right. And he, he was in a, a kind of a, an issue with him. Well, really quickly what happened, uh, this is kind of a funny story. Fat Patty found out through Guzzo and a couple other people, there was this a drug dealer, kind of this whiz. Yeah, his name was Adriano, this drug dealer. Go ahead. I know the story. You know this story. Okay, perfect. Of course. So th this, this individual claimed that he could spot bugs in a club. Yeah, right? he was so, a crackhead. Yeah, so... Uh, you know, Fat Patty, the older guy, he he gets believed into believing that this guy can do this. So he pays yeah. him this money and he ends up getting pinched. And, you know, basically Catalano says, what the fuck? You know, you need to come take your beating like a man or we're going to have you killed, basically. All right. And the kid went and got his ass kicked. And I think uh, Vito Guzzo beat him with a fire extinguisher, I believe. That's correct. At yeah. the club. Kind of crazy. Yeah. So you, um, you, probably, you probably know more about it than me. Uh, yeah, well, what happened was, so there's this kid, Adriano, he had this like little uh, device he bought at the Radio Shack or something like that. He said it detects bugs. Um, and the, the go-between on that was this kid named Anthony Tabito that was pretty good with Vito. They were, they were, they were close. Actually, they were involved in uh, Three Murders. Anthony flipped on Vito. One of the reasons Vito's doing a lot of time is because, because of Anthony. So anyway, Anthony gets this kid, Adriano, who he grew up with, just started doing hard drugs, and he brought him to Vito. Vito goes, are you sure you know what you're doing? He said, yeah, I know what I'm doing. Uh, Pat, Patty Catalano had the club in Middle Village. That's correct. So he gets him to go over there, and uh, they said after he was done beating his ass, there was about an inch of blood on the floor. Wow. Yeah, well, the bug obviously didn't work. Didn't detect shit because there was actually a real bug in the fucking club. And uh, that was it. Wow. So well, and he did take it beaten like a man. Uh, give him respect for that. Let's jump into it. Um, obviously, you know, uh, uh, Jeff and I are book guys. You lived it. Give us a background. Who was the Giannini crew? All right. The whole, I've said this before, the whole um, Giannini crew title was given by Jerry Capisi. He was popular doing that in the 90s. He would get all these little gangs um, or, or affiliate gangs. And, that, and that's another thing I want to get to. Yeah. These minor league gangs have been around forever. Yeah. Uh, Murder Incorporated was a minor league gang. You know, if you, if you really want to talk about that. So what he did, he was sensationalizing at the time these crews. And he did that with the Bad Avenue boys. He did that with the Tanglewood boys. And then he did that with the kids. I call them kids because that's what we were at at, at that time, 19, 20, 21, 22 years old. And he, he, um, he gave us a title. But that's after everybody got arrested. And, and, and uh, who were they? A lot of them were sons of drug dealers who were away. A lot of, a lot of them were like, my, in my case, um, my uncle, my family was involved. Yeah. I mean, the core of the actual... Kids who grew up together and became doing all these drugs. We were we were uh, maybe good twenty five to thirty. Now all together, we were probably good sixty. Damn. How how yeah. would you say? <clears throat> how would you say? You know, you talk about the Beth Ave, uh, Tanglewood. By the way, up. I'm on my my presence. I just came back from the gym. Oh no, no worries. I've been having it. This is a last minute thing anyway. Of the sixty or of the twenty five. You guys are pretty deep. How, how would you qualify number? How many of them were hitters or serious guys of that crew? How many? How many guys would shoot you? Um, well, good question. Maybe fifteen or twenty. That's a lot, even for even for for that time frame. So, but interesting enough is again, Jeff and I are book guys. You lived it. We kind of have it as three families: Banano, Gambino, and uh, I think Colombo. So, you know, was it heavier in one of the families and? What influence did the families have on your guys' crew? All right. Heavy on, well, most of us were, um, not not myself, but most of the guys were from the Gambino Sicilian uh, faction. Yeah. Where I would be uh, out of the Banano Sicilian faction. But uh, they didn't have no alliances. They, they they dealt basically with everybody. They got, you know, whatever we need, we needed money. We well, fuck it. If a Colombian can't, if they, they, they make this part of the Medellin cartel, we dealt with Colombians too. Really? One way or the other. 
Yeah, if we if we needed to uh, turn over some drugs that day. Yeah, why not? So not so, the Medellin because yeah. basically the, the the Colombians that were in New York at Jackson Heights were from the Cali cartel. Got it. Yeah, that's right. Cali had New York and uh, Medellin at the time. Queens. Yeah. So so okay. So but what I don't get is so you are you know you're a made guy right and you're you have a I'm not. No, 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 I'm saying, I'm saying, hypothetically, you're a made guy, you're with the Bananas or Gambinos, you have a kid, you're Sicilian, you want your kid to get into the life. Did you want your sons kind of hanging out with the Giannini crew because they got like a pedigree or was it the opposite? You guys were fucking cowboys. Even though I wanted to have my son made, I wanted him away from you. How, how was that kind of? Well, you had to be on? careful with that. You know, there was a thin line and a double-edged sword. I mean, a, a the older men hung out together. What are you going to say? My son's not good enough to hang out with your son? Yeah. Y you know, uh, I mean, most of us, we we were around family members. We're checking fast. Was there some of us that had good family? Yeah. Like one of my best friends growing up, his dad was a hell of a, still is a hell of a guy, ran functions, part of Italian American uh, organizations, everything. Didn't want that for his son. But, you know, again, he owned a business. A lot of his clientele, a, a legitimate business, were these people. So you had to be careful what you said. Yeah, good point. Now you, know, you were fucking up with the with the food you eat. You know what I mean? Yeah. Now you know who were some of the prominent, like who were kind of the leaders of the crew, and who were some of the prominent names that went on to you know get made and and became more notable. Well, within the crew, you had within the crew you had clicks. They were clicks. Like I had my friends, we were a little bit of a clique. And obviously that was like the banana kid, you know. Yeah. Um, we all grew up together. We all been through thick and thin together, fighting and everything. But as we got older, they were differentiating these cliques and they were going into uh like like Vito got involved with the clique that uh eventually put him away. You know, there were like three or four guys that he was really close with that put him away. They were looking at needles in their arms, they were involved in five murders, three kids. Whoa. And they flipped, and they, yeah, and they flipped on um, on Vito. That was the one click. That was Fabio, um, Anthony Tabita, the kid Fabio I talked yeah. about before. Yeah. And there was another.